Hey guys, it's Goldie here, coming with another video. Today we are going to be talking about programming. We'll be talking about how to actually get into programming. This is going to be a no BS video. Like, I'm going to just get straight to the point. This video is going to be particularly for Python. So, you want to learn Python. This is my recommendation. So, videos are a very big help. However, there's a massive rabbit hole that a lot of beginners fall into when it comes to YouTube videos about learning how to code in Python. And I'm going to be honest, most of these YouTube videos that you're seeing right here are BS, in my opinion. In my opinion, you're not going to learn much from these videos. Because here's the thing, you'll watch the video, it will teach you things about, oh cool, Oh, cool, this. Oh, cool, that. Oh, this is amazing. And then when you actually go on code, you'll forget all of that. You'll, you'll just forget everything, right? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to actually watch the right videos so you guys don't fall into the same mistakes that I have fallen into and a lot of other um, beginners have fallen into. This video is about beginners. Again, may I um, emphasize this is a beginner tutorial. So... I'm just going to go straight here. I'm going to tell you what videos that I think are good. So, this video, one hour video, Python for Beginners. I'm not even going to click on it. It's the one hour video. Okay, it could be a very, very good and beneficial video, right? But I don't recommend watching a one hour video on, on um, Python for Beginners. Because a lot of these one hour videos, they go through the basics, right? They teach you the basics, which is very good. It's very, very... Uh, important to know the basics of Python and just any programming language in general, right? Very important. Uh, but the basics are going to be like 10, 20 minutes of the video. And then the rest of the 40 minutes are just going to be everything else, which you're not going to need. The thing, this is what you have to do. You have to watch the basics. You have to watch a simple video that talks about the basics of um, programming in Python or programming in any other language, right? Just the very, very, very simple basics. I'm talking about assigning variables, data types. That's the level I'm talking about when I say basics, right? Once you get down with that, start coding. Just open up a call editor and just start coding right away. No excuses. Just start writing something. It could be anything. It could even be an application. It could be something crazy that you think that you can't do. Just do it. Because when you do it, you're going to learn way more things than you're ever going to learn from a video. So, okay. Learn Python in less than 10 minutes. This is more like it. A 10-minute video of Python. This is probably going to go through the basics. Let's even watch it. Let's, 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 let's put this in a new tab. And let's see... What this video goes through i'm gonna be very very quick with this what is up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can get started with python in less than 10 minutes already very good it's just getting you started i i think if i go through this so it talks about variables which is a very very important thing right staying you know straight to the point assigning variables and it talks about data types i love this tutorial I already like like the tutorial. This is what you want to do. You want to learn about variables. So assigning variables. And you want to learn about data types. And then logic statements. Okay, let's see logic statements. Okay, logic statements are like if statements, else statements. You don't even need to know this, right? I, I, I wouldn't even get to this point, but it's good information to know regardless. Uh, for loops. Good information to know regardless. But you see how this person is, is going through all of these different logic statement and keywords in python in under 10 minutes this is the exact type of content that you would get from watching a one hour video like watching these one hour python for beginners tutorial like you're getting the same information like there's, there's actually not much of a difference okay they might teach you some extra extra things but are you going to remember those extra extra things that's the point i'm trying to make all right, so again, skipping these one hour tutorials, I don't recommend them. One tutorial I really do recommend, however, is Network Chuck's Python video, the episode one, learn Python right now. This is one of the best Python videos, in my opinion. 
in my opinion, one of the best beginner Python videos. The thing with Nether Chuck is that he's so good at engaging the viewer. He's, he's incredible. He has some like incredible powers to do that. So obviously he starts with the intro. Very, very quick, he explains what he's going to talk about in the video. Like, he's such a good attention grabber. Like, if you're someone who has a low attention span, Network Chuck is a very good, uh, very good uh, YouTuber here. So he talks about, okay, there are some things which I will recommend you to not do though. So I, I like most of the tutorial apart from some parts. So everything is good here. Uh, he talks about your first Python code. And the thing Network Chuck emphasizes in this video is that you should start coding today, right now. He emphasizes that you should do it right. Just, just go open an editor, write some code, write hello world. That's what I like to see is someone emphasizing that you should just code right away because you should just start right away. Just start with any project. That's the thing. A lot of people, a lot of beginners are so like stuck on, oh, what should I code next? What should I do? Oh, like, like just open a code editor, install Python and just start coding. It's literally not that deep. Like. Anyway, so he talks about what is Python. I really like he draws, he annotates things so you can so you can understand it. So Neto Chuck again, very good video. I'll put this in the description. And I'll also put the other videos that we watched in the description. Um this one from uh, Idently. Very, very good video. Um So yeah, yeah, I like his video so far here. But there is a certain point where I don't like. So okay, so as you can see here, he has Python in a web browser. You can do this, right? But I recommend you go an extra mile and install Python on your actual system instead of using the web browser version. Um, it's very hard for me to explain why I want to do that, but it will save you a lot of time in the future when you want to actually work on other things. Like you want to make an app, you want to make um, a website. You're going to notice very, very quickly that you're going to be so limited on the amount of things that you can actually do with Python on the code on the web browser. And also it's just, it's, you just learn a lot more when you have it on your, on your system because it teaches you about how, like it shows you how Python is actually executed on this website. All you do is just write the code and press on a button and it just runs. When you're doing, when you're using Python on your actual system, you start to know like you start to know that okay this is the python interpreter i can run the python interpreter okay i can type uh print hello or whatever right okay but i can also do um this i can also create uh let's create uh uh let's create a file here main.py let's nano uh main.py let's type uh print uh hello world and let's save this and then i know that this file is on my desktop but i can use python i can run the python interpreter which is just python command and i can append the name of the file so main.py this is the file that i just created press on that and that runs the code it teaches you more about how python actually works from the low level than you'll ever get using the website, which is why I recommend you install Python on your desktop. It's very simple. If you type Python, uh, it's python.org. This is the official Python website. You can go to downloads and you can click on download this Python. But what I recommend you, this is what I recommend, don't download the latest version. Download a little bit of an older version. So go down here, go to Python. 3.12. Now this is going to be different. When I upload this video, you're going to see different versions, but I recommend to just get a major version just before the latest version. The latest version here is Python 3.13. Uh, try and get try and get Python 3.12. Now, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to do it. You can just click on the big download button here. I'm just trying to recommend you some better alternatives, but I recommend you just go down here and click on like Python 3.12.9 and then press on download. And this will take you to this page, scroll all the way down, and then you should get um, a Windows installer. So if you're on Windows, run the Windows installer, make sure you run the 64-bit version. If you're on a 64-bit um, operating system, but I'm sure you already know that. And if you're on Linux, then you probably already know how to install Python, or you already have Python on your system. If you're on Linux, just over your terminal, type Python. If that doesn't work, type, Python free. If that doesn't work, 
um, then I don't know what is wrong with your system. You probably don't have Python installed. Make sure you install it with your package manager. But if you're on Linux already, I'm sure you already know how to do that. So yeah, this tutorial is very good, but I recommend you install Python and desktop. That's the only issue I have with this tutorial is, but he's emphasis is, is he's telling you guys that you should just use the web version. I wouldn't recommend that just install it on your system. I know it's, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of an extra mile but just install it. But yeah, I recommend you watch this video. He goes through a lot of things. He teaches you about debugging. Um, he said, he tells you, he teaches you about like Python actually points out where you've gotten things wrong. Like you can see it points out here. You missed a closing speech mark here. So it's actually telling you that, hey, you know, there's a problem here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's all I really recommend. No BS tutorial. Um, go on YouTube, at Python beginner tutorial. Make sure you watch those videos are linked below. Don't watch one hour videos. Do not install Python on your system. And yeah. And now you notice that I haven't actually gone. I haven't actually told you guys how to actually install your code editor. But what I recommend again, install Python, then install something called VS code. Right. And then that's all I'm going to leave you with. Once you install VS Code, install the Python extension. That's all I'm going to leave for this tutorial. I might do another tutorial where I actually show you guys how to actually install your code editor and how to install Python as well. But that's where I'm going to leave it at. Zero BS tutorial on how to learn Python. That literally is that simple. Like just start coding right away. That's all you have to do. Just start coding. Just open up a code editor and just start. Just, just start something, you know? Like, nothing more I can really say. Just start creating things. Just start creating things. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and peace out. What am I going to do? I bet that if I could sleep though, I'd probably dream about you. And that's why I don't want to sleep. I've no mind left to lose. These lyrics getting so hard to read. My artistry is my news. But I'm a winner all, independent all, for the cynical critics. If you rip it, leap or fall, sick of all stuff, ridicule. Gotta get it all together, even though we're not together anymore. I'm mature now, got the cure now, burn down every bridge. Get this, it turns out. This should burn hers down. Before I figured ours won't work out, so I'm sitting in this herb cloud. As it turns around, my mind's